Hi everyone, today on Cooking Up Love, we're making thumbprint cookies with an apple pie filling. All the flavor of a homemade apple pie in this bite-sized little cookie. They're great for fall and the holidays, and have you heard? We're celebrating the holidays and sharing our favorite Christmas cookie recipes. Check out all the new recipes and watch till the end for a special holiday treat. Okay, let me show you how easy these apple pie cookies are to make. Here's everything we're going to need to make them. Butter, salt, one egg, flour, sugar, about three apples, a lemon, cornstarch, vanilla, and a little spice, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cardamom. I've listed all the ingredients and the recipe in the description box below, and check the comments for the principal recipe. First, to make the spice mixture. In a small bowl, combine a quarter cup of sugar, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon ground ginger, and then just a pinch of nutmeg. I'm using just about half of the quarter teaspoon measure and this is about an eighth of a teaspoon. And then a pinch of cardamom, uh, again, about an eighth of a teaspoon. Give this a good mix and set it aside for later. Okay, next to chop the apples. I've got three apples here and you'll want to use a crisp apple that has a really strong apple flavor. And I think these are Honeycrisp or Pink Lady. We're going to cut these into a small dice. And feel free to cut and core these your favorite way. You can leave the skin on or take it off. And I ended up deciding to peel the apples after cutting them, which probably ended up taking a little longer, but you can see that this goes pretty quick. Because we're using this topping on cookies that'll be about two to three inches across, the dice should be fairly small, about a quarter of an inch square. And I'm adding the cut apples directly to the medium saucepan I'll be using to cook this down. What I love about this cookie is it's a little different from the jam thumbprints with the apple spice filling. And it's got all of those warm and cozy flavors with the cinnamon, cardamom, and nutmeg. It makes me think about trying like a pumpkin thumbprint or maybe a lemon curd. I don't know, what do you think? Drop me a note in the comments. Okay, once the apples are all cut, add a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and stir. Pour in the spice mixture and stir this all up to combine it. Top with two tablespoons of salted butter and then begin cooking this over medium heat. The butter will melt and the apples will release some juices, but check the mixture as it cooks and add a little water if necessary so that the apples don't burn and so the mixture doesn't get too dry. Cover and cook for about 10 minutes. And once the apples are soft and tender, but still holding their shape, you don't want them mushy, mix together one teaspoon of cornstarch and a teaspoon of water to make a cornstarch slurry and add this to the apple mixture. Stir to combine and bring the mixture to a boil. Cook this for just about a minute and then remove it from heat and set aside to cool. Next to make the cookie dough, in a large bowl measure out one and three quarters cup of flour and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. And if you've been watching our cookie videos, you know I like to give this a crush with a mortar and pestle just to make the salt crystals a little smaller so that they distribute better in the cookie dough. Add the salt and give this a whisk to combine, and then set it aside for later. In another large bowl, combine eight tablespoons of softened salted butter and two thirds cup of sugar. Be on medium speed until the mixture is light and fluffy, and that'll be about three to four minutes, and stop to scrape the sides of the bowl in between. Add one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix this on medium speed until it's well blended. Then add half of the flour mixture and beat just until the flour is incorporated. Scrape the sides of the bowl and add the rest of the flour mixture and beat just until it's combined. The dough will be soft and buttery Make loose dough balls about an inch and a half in size and then place them on the baking sheet lined in parchment paper, about two inches apart. 
Use a half teaspoon measure to press an indent into the top of each cookie. And you'll want to try to form a bit of a well that the filling will sit in. Then spoon in about a half teaspoon of the apple pie filling. And if you have any extra apple pie filling, you can use it to make an amazing apple pie toaster strudel with a little puff pastry. Chill the cookies for about 30 minutes, then bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, just until they're set around the sides and light golden brown. This recipe will make about two dozen cookies. These unique little cookies are like little bite-sized apple pies and they are a great addition to cookie plates and holiday dessert tables. Thank you so much for watching guys. I've linked the playlist for all of our Christmas cookies here and in the description. You'll find new flavors and favorites and I can't wait to share them all with you. And remember, we've got a holiday gift for you coming up when we wrap up this Christmas cookie special. Thank you so much for your support this year and I'll see you in the next video.